Hey everybody, happy new year. It's Haley with HaleyWithHaleyWithTheFlare.com. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below and like this video if you love all of my London tips. I took this trip about a month and a half ago where I spent five nights in London, a few nights in Paris, also did a day trip to Normandy. So today we're gonna be talking about my favorite things and recommendations of what you should do when you're in London. There's gonna be a combination of museums in here, food and drinks, so I hope that you enjoy. And let me know down in the comments section which are some of your favorites. Okay, recommendation number one is you have to do afternoon tea. We did afternoon tea at the Wolseley and it was a great experience. We did a lot of research and we settled on the Wolseley because it was traditional yet a bit casual. The experience was great. There were so many different teas to choose from, hot chocolate for those non-tea lovers. Olivia had a great experience and I actually enjoyed her tea. She got a caramel one. Of course, you get the traditional trifled tier dish. The staff was great. They explained everything really well. Of course, the pastry, so we knew what we were getting. Then you cannot have tea without clotted cream and jam. I'll give you guys a quick view of these pastries. The caramel cream puff, chef's kiss. Next, we're going to head over to the National Gallery. I was really, really excited for this place. It's beautiful. This is one of the pieces I really, really wanted to see here at the National Gallery. For those of you that don't know, this is the portrait of the execution of Lady Jane Grey, and this is a Botticelli painting. I have been dying to see these pieces for such a long time, so make sure the National Gallery is on your list. Quick little break. Do you like saving money on travel? Don't forget to check out the free link below to my ultimate travel savings guide. It's got all the hacks from hotels to flights, attractions, discounts, you name it. It's all in there and it's completely free, so make sure you check that out. Now, as well, if you need help planning a trip, we can help. We have a travel agency that is experienced in selling cruises, resorts, hotels, etc. Next up, we have Hampton Court Palace. Now, this isn't in London. It's about 40 minutes outside, but you have to go to Hampton Court Palace if you are any form of a history freak like I am. The cool thing about Hampton Court Palace is it's half Tudor, yes, like Henry, like the one that cut off his wife's heads. And the other half is Edwardian. It was actually renovated during that era. So it's really neat to see the two different designs here. You could go down the haunted hallway like I just showed, looking for the ghost of Catherine Howard, or you could go explore the kitchens. It's quite the experience. Next up, for a little more history, we have the Imperial War Museum, especially if you are a war history fanatic. This is a great museum. This takes you through all of the UK's war history, not just World War I and II. The exhibits are incredible. I highly recommend checking this one out. The cost was very cheap and it was very much worth our while. We've done a lot of exploring already, so let's talk about a London must eat. If you are there on a Sunday, you have to do a Sunday roast. We went to Blacklock. Not this whole pile of meat, but there's a good chunk of meat there. Sunday roasts are quintessential and this is known for being one of the best in London. It comes with a variety of roasted meats. Some of the prep work, like for the Yorkshire puddings and stuff that come with this, start almost a whole week in advance. So make sure you check out Blacklock. There was nothing left from our family. We enjoyed it. All right, we've had something to eat. Now let's get something to drink. Head over to Mr. Fogg's. This location in particular is the gin parlor, and it's kind of like a speakeasy above the main Mr. Fogg's. The cocktail choices are really neat, really unique. They have little tapas if you need a snack, but every drink we had here was great. And one of the really incredible things besides all of this beautiful decor was the gin flight. I had this cranberry-ish style gin that was just to die for. Highly recommend. Next up, we have the Tower of London. Now, can you say you've been to London if you have not been here? This is absolutely quintessential English history. It dates back over a thousand years. It is just incredible and awe-inspiring that they were able to build this back then. Plus, you can see where Anne Boleyn stayed for her coronation and also lost her head along with many others. It also has a wonderful view outside of Tower Bridge. Next, most of you have followed me for a while. I'm a huge hop-on, hop-off bus fan. London is huge, and this is a great way 
to get around, see the city, and see some of the sights like Buckingham Palace. So this one's kind of a twofer. We love this stop. I just could not believe how beautiful and ornate all these statues were in person. I was just completely blown away. We've been doing a lot of work on this video and it's time for something sweet. This is the Italian bear. It is known for having some of the best hot chocolate in London as well as desserts. And I can tell you this place did not disappoint. We brought my dad on this trip for those of you that don't know. And he is a chocolate connoisseur and he's going to tell you all about it. <laughs> Try a little sippy. Next up, we have Churchill's War Rooms. These are the legit war rooms down underground where Churchill and his cabinet battled and came up with strategies for World War II. The museum's incredible and everything in here is original in these rooms. It's left the way that exactly was so you get to wander the halls just like Churchill did. Here is another one for the history buffs. We are going to be walking and heading over to Westminster Abbey. I had an expectation of seeing like the famous tombs. I was not prepared for how beautiful and incredible this place was. This is the one that our whole entire group could without a doubt say was probably our favorites just because of everything that's in here and how beautiful it is. Don't worry foodies, we've got you. This is Borough Market. It is across the Thames near Waterloo and it is incredible. Great shops, great samplings of all different types of food. We hope you try it. And our last tip is to do the London Eye, but do it right before sunset so you get these incredible views. If you book your tickets ahead of time, they're a little bit cheaper, but as you can see, there is no view that beats this other than maybe this little hidden spot I'm going to show you. So you see the bridge down below. If you walk down on the same side of the river and pop over, check that view out. Of course, I had to have a seasonal bonus tip for all of you. We were here during Thanksgiving week and we are American, so late November. All the Christmas lights are up and some of these bus companies run Christmas light tours at night. Now bundle up, it is chilly, but this is incredible. I highly recommend it. The Christmas light scene and London is top tier. You have to experience it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.